The School of the Ozarks was a dream. This dream became reality in 1906 when James Forsyth saw that the community was desperate for education. The School of the Ozarks opened on September 12, 1907 on top of Mount Huggins overlooking Swan Creek. In the first term of school, there were 180 enrollments and 36 boarders. Students who attended School of the Ozarks worked instead of paying tuition. On January 12, 1915, the Mitchells building went up in flames. This is because a girl who was going to the School of the Ozarks left a candle burning one night and it caused a fire. In 1915, the School of the Ozarks was relocated to Point Lookout. The 207 acres in the new building were purchased for $15,000. This is the same amount of insurance on Mitchell's Hall. The building was a former State of Marine building at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. This building was renamed Dobbins Hall after W.R. Dobbins for giving the first $500 towards the new school. Until in 1930, the Dobbins Hall burnt to the ground. In 1950, the School of the Ozarks presidents were Robert M. Good and Dr. M. Graham Clark. They made a dramatic change to the school. The school expanded 1,400 acres. Then the school built a Gothic chapel on the side of Dobbins Hall, and also a hospital was built. The Museum of the Ozarks was also renamed after Robert M. Good, and later was renamed Ralph D. Foster after a country music pioneer. Ralph D. Foster donated money and exhibits toward the museum. In 1965, the School of the Ozarks became a four-year college. Also, in 1973, the Wall Street Journal described the School of the Ozarks as a hard work you, which has stuck with the school and has stayed that way ever since. In 1967, when the last secondary school class and the first college class graduated, about 10 new areas of study were built and faculty doubled. In 1990, the Board of Trustees approved changing the name School of the Ozarks to College of the Ozarks. College of the Ozarks. The School of the Ozarks is now a college and, college of the Oz and is called College of the Ozarks. Many people have went to College of the Ozarks and graduated with various degrees. One of those people is my cousin, April Scott, who graduated from College of the Ozarks with a degree in theater and is now a model and actress. Another is my aunt, Helen Youngblood, who graduated with an accounting degree and later became an employee of College of the Ozarks and recently retired with 20 years of service to the college. Also, my grandma, who is currently at, on her 14th year of employment at the college. The Keter Center. The Keter Center was built in 2004 when Dr. Keter donated the first $1 million. The Lake Honor. The Lake Honor is where you'll see beautiful swans, also a plaque honoring outstanding students each year. Edwards Mill. It's a tourist attraction and also a work site that provides students made products. The Greenhouse is known for their beautiful orchids and is also capable of holding over 7,000 plants. The Dairy. The Dairy is one of the farm's operations on campus which produces milk to sell to students and employees. The chapel. The chapel was built in 1956 with amazing stained glass windows. Point Lookout. Point Lookout is overlooking the surrounding communities, communities in Lake Taney Como. The Fruitcake and Jelly Department. The Fruitcake and Jelly Department is one of the most the well-known tourist attractions that produces the College of the Ozarks well-known fruitcake. The Keter Gym is where a variety of sports are played and has been the home of the NAIA National Tournament for the past several years.